if you would like to slice some static meshes at runtime, as seen in Fruit Ninja or Metal Gear Rising, but without using complex logic like Geometry Script or Chaos Physics, I have just the thing for you. Let's dig into the slicer blueprint. The blinking plane is like debug to see the cut. Procedural mesh is what enables this simple slicing logic. Don't forget to uncheck this. And a simple static mesh. The construction script, set the procedural mesh, copy the simple static mesh into the procedural one, ensure to set the right material, and then updating the slicer's rotation so slicing can be done at more fancy angles, and then destroy the simple mesh since it's no longer needed. In the event graph, just one input that controls the slicing and slice procedural mesh being the core of the functionality here. Create the other half to slice something in two and make sure the cut isn't creating a hole in the mesh. The cap is for that purpose. Then enable physics since that makes it a lot more clear how the cut is being done. Use the same material as the simple static mesh had and then offset it a bit so the cut will always be at a different place after a previous slice. That's about it. Let's test it out again. Good to know that you can use this on any static mesh. Keeping in mind, very complex geometry might not work or be as performant. Let's do a quick test with a shape made in the modeling tool. So you know how to make any static mesh work with this. Okay, there's some random shape. What you need to make sure is apply some complex collision. Simple won't work. If you ever run into issues, try 1. Changing the collision complexity. 2. After you finish applying slash saving changes in the static mesh, unassign it from the slicer and assign it again. Tune in every week for quick tips and tricks for Unreal Engine 5. Thanks for watching.